I guess if you're looking at Greg Berhalter's second call up, the big surprises, there aren't really that many surprises. Uh, there's a couple out there. Jordan Morris getting called back, but then again, watching how he's played with Seattle in the early going, it's easy to understand. Plus, you can't really coach speed. And if he's anywhere near as healthy as he was before, that's going to help the U.S. get more dangerous in the attack. Omar Gonzalez might be the one that's been called out of the cold the most. He's been playing quite a bit for Atlas, though. Uh, I I'm a little surprised they didn't look at Ventura Alvarado, who's doing even a little bit better for a better Necaxa, but maybe that's to come. Looking back at the last camp, 14 players are carryovers from January, including Michael Bradley, and that's always going to be a bit of a lightning rod. But if you actually went and watched how Michael Bradley fit in to the Greg Berhalter system, there's no surprise. It was brilliant. Uh, you do have Will Trapp, who can also play as a backup there. But I think at this particular point, at this stage, Greg Berhalter is looking at more experienced players. He's trying to see how the veterans will come in. And I have a feeling we'll probably see a little more experimentation the closer we get to the Gold Cup and maybe even some younger players coming in then. Um, Corey Baird, maybe a little bit of a surprise that he was in. Did not really impress that much in the January camp. Um, Lovitz as well at left back, similar story. But then again, everyone in the world is looking for left back, so why not give him another chance? I think really what Greg Berhalter has done, he's showing that pretty much everyone is getting a clean slate. Whatever happened under Klinsman, whatever happened under Bradley, whatever happened under Arena version 2.0, doesn't really matter. He's going to give them a shot, and if they fit into his system, they're going to keep getting called in.